students hi friends today we are going to discuss an important two questions in the lesson of current electricity myself i am going to take in socket method what about you you see myself i am going to take in log method so here my friend and my student mr rishi who is a meritorious student will take an elaborate solution in the lesson of current electricity let us go for the solution in the elaborated way by our academy students mr rishi Thank you, Rishi, for being with me. We can go for a session to explain the students with an elaborated way. The power dissipated in the circuit shown in the figure is 30 volts. The value of R is option A, 20 volts. Option B, 15 volts. Option C, 10 volts. Option D, 30 volts. This question has been asked in NEET 2012. Let us go for the solution. R and 5 ohms are in parallel. Therefore, Rp equal to R1, R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. Therefore, R1 is R and R2 is 5. Therefore, Rp is equal to 5R by 5 plus R. The formula for power is P is equal to B square by R. P is 30, B is 10, R is 5R by 5 plus R. After simplification, we get R is equal to 10 ohms. Therefore, the option says the correct answer. Let us go for the shortcut method as usual. Be. So, we are going to do the same sum with a fraction of seconds. Without using any formula and without using any concept, let us go for the sum to finish out within a fraction of seconds. So, let us go for the shortcut method. So, just I am writing the shortcut method. So, what we have to do before going to the shortcut method, please take your pen and check your notebook. It is very important to note on this important shortcut. So now let us see what the important points in the question. If you see the points here, the power is there and 30 watts is given. If you see here 30 watts, let me write that 30 watts here as a first number. So let me write this question as a 30 watts first number. The next number is we are having 10 here. Let me write that 10, this one. And let me write this 5 also. So there are 3 numbers in this question. Can I have to say what are the 3 numbers? Yes, the first one is 30. Very good. The second one is 5. And the third one is 10. We can alternate the values numbers according to the convenience. If you want to put 5 as initial first one, second one as 10 and 30 as third one, you can do whatever they want. So now let us go for the important method. Please note on this. Now what I am going to do is take this particular number which is voltage. So here this is the important tricky number. This is the magic number. So remember this. This is the magic number. What you have to do is, first you put is equal to, square this number, if you square this number, we get this one. Am I right? So next, what you have to do is, you multiply this and nearest number with this. So we get into 5. You got the first step. We have to square the magical number. What is that magical number? Voltage is the magical number. Whatever the number is key, do it in the same method, same step. Do it as 10 square into 5. You got it? The next one is, what you have to do is, you multiply this and this. So if you multiply, we get 30 into 5, which is nothing but 150 R. Then, again, this 10 is a magical number. For any magical number, we will square that number. So you square that number, you get 100 and multiply with this R. You got it? So instead of this 150 R plus 100 R, you always try to put minus here. Don't forget to put, don't let me kindly put the plus symbol. Always you have to put the minus symbol on this shortcut. What is the first step? The magical number has to be square and you have to multiply this one. You got it? The first step. The second step is we have to multiply this 30 into 5 and write the 150 R. Remember to put the value of R. And also you put minus always in the center and square this magical number as usual like this and multiply with R. So we get 50 R will be equal to 500 then R will be equal to, immediately we get the answer as 10 ohms. So where is the option lies? The answer lies in the option C. We can go with the option C. Now, you can able to see, without using any formula and without using any concept, we just did with a fraction of a second and not more than two steps. Yeah, let us go for the second question in the same as kind of electricity. So before going to the question, we have to discuss that how we are going to play this particular question. We are going to discuss in two ways. One is elaborated way, the other one is socket method, as we expected. So let us go into the session by reading the question. See this question, second question. Three resistance PQ are each of two ohms and an 
unknown resistance yes for the four ohms of a big stone grid circuit where the resistance of six ohms is corrected in parallel to s the grid gets balanced what is the value of s so tamil la pathina p q r endra nindadai kuduthukanga enna kelvi ketkanga na s ana s odi nindadai ketkanga edhila big stone samarichukanga in this question if you see this he has given very clearly big stone grid see here you know how to write the big stone grid so let us go for the solution so to go to the solution you know how to write the big stone grid ungalku ellarkume theriyum big stone samarachitra eppadi irukum theriyum let us draw the diagram here. see the diagram so it will be like this so again a big stone grid like this will be here and he has given the value as p q r and s yes. and s yes, has been connected parallel so in the kelvin kala vale padithe na varichu so for this particular question i have written the diagram if you see here this is the big stone grid a rough figure p q r s now you tell me what is the value of p see here the value of p is 2 ohms the value of q is 2 ohms the value of r is also 2 ohms let us write here p is equal to 2 ohms and q is equal to 2 ohms and r is equal to 2 ohms and s has been given connected parallel to 6 ohms let us write down 6 ohms so now this is the diagram in which you have to take your pen and write down in your notebook unga puthagathai eduthe pena eduthe the diagram kodunga this diagram is very very important diagram so now to go into the elaborate solution you know the condition for wheatstone bits circuit wheatstone samachitrakana y power ukku theriyum the formula is p by q will be equal to r by s so this is the formula please note down this formula for wheatstone bits in your notebook so p by q is equal to r by s is the formula for s for wheatstone bits now what is the value of p it is 2 what is the value of q it is also 2 is equal to what is the value of r it is 2 and s has been connected to parallel to the six ohms what is the formula for finding the parallelity resistance so the formula is rp is equal to r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 note down this formula so the formula for parallelity is it is rp is equal to R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Here R1 is this, R2 is 6 ohms. Now as per the formula, I can multiply this two. I can write 6s divided by 6 plus 6. I hope you also follow me by writing it down. So let us cancel this two and two, and we get one is equal to two into 6 plus 6 by 6s. The next step, if you cross multiply, we get 6s will be equal to 12 plus 2s. See here, I have multiplied this and this. Now take this plus 2s this side. We get 6s minus 2s will be equal to 12, and 4s will be equal to 12, and s will be finally equal to 3 ohms. We got the answer with an elaborated solution. Now let us see the options. The options are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So here we got the answer. S is equal to 3 ohms. The answer lies in the option A, 3 ohms. So now we did the same sum with the help of a formula and concept method, and also the help of a diagram. Now it is a session for us to go for a shortcut method, as we expect. Yes, students. Now it is a time for to go into the shortcut method. If we are going to shortcut method, we are going to. Without using any concept and without using any formula, we are going to do this particular sum in a maximum of fraction of a few seconds, so and also not more than two steps. So let us go for the shortcut method. Please note down the shortcut method. So now we are going for shortcut method. What is the purpose of going into the shortcut method? Because we can minimize the times in the heat exam. Now you see the number. We we'll just see which is the greatest number. Which is the greatest number out of this three here, especially here. So this is the greatest number. You make an circle entirely here. You multiply this and this and write down here six s. So this is the first step. What I will do? 
Take the parallelity numbers, multiply this and this, we get 6x. Then always put minus. Remember, don't put plus, always put minus. Then you multiply this 2 and this here. If you multiply this and this, we get 2x. You got it? What is the first step? First step is we have to multiply 6 and this. Then you have to put minus in the center. What is the second step? We have to multiply these two and this. We have multiplied. And put is equal to for all the sums in this model. Then you multiply this number and this number. This into this. 6 into 2 is how much? It is 12. So now let me go into the third medium also. So in the end of the model, in the RU, in the SU, this is the model step. Let me get to the main thing. Minus four no. Next day, in the two v o, in the s v o, and you multiply by the two s for that. Is equal to put you multiply these two numbers in the end number you multiply for that. Now we are going for the second step, second sentence. This is the first one. The second one is if you subtract this one, we get four s will be equal to twelve, and which implies s will be equal to three ohms. That's all. Finish. So, reduce the kind of answer to me. So, we finished this just with two steps and we have minimized so much amount of time. So, now what is the answer? It is S is equal to 3 ohms. What is the answer in the elevated solution? The same answer we got it. Now, the option lies in option A, it is 3 ohms. Dear students, thank you so much for giving a greater support for my channel. So, I have to say a lot of thanks to every each and everyone who has who have viewed my channel, all the videos. And now, what is the new students has to do now? The students who are coming into this channel, you have to do important thing. You have to subscribe my channel. You have to put a like symbol. And you have to share this video to all of your friends. Thank you very much for being this video. So, let us meet back again for the next short tips very soon. Until then, bye bye.